Hey, I wanted to come to you today and share with you some recipe ideas that I have regarding bone broth. So if any of you guys have seen the latest craze, uh, bone broth is so healing and nourishing for the body, for the skin. Um, I've talked about it a little bit on our page here, um, but I wanted to share my how-to video of how I make bone broth. Um, and I, my recipe is different every single time I make it because I just use what I have on hand. Um, I use what kind of bones I happen to have on hand. So the flavors kind of vary from my bone broth to bone broth. Um, so I wanted to take you in a little inside scoop and show you um, what we're doing today. So I have all of my ingredients here in this Instant Pot. Um, the Instant Pot is the best invention ever. I love it. It is a digital pressure cooker and um, it has saved me so much time. What used to take me 24 to 48 hours in the crock pot um, or on stove top, wasting lots of electricity, making my house smell like chicken broth for days, um, has now made equal or better uh, bone broth in my Instant Pot in 90 minutes to 240 minutes, depending on um, kind of what your opinion is on it. I have made great bone broth on 90 minutes, and so I kind of like less time because you guys are busy like me. You have kids or you have jobs or you have other things that you have to tend to, so why slave over something all day? And um, I just throw everything in there, fill it up to the max level line with water. So I'm gonna share with you what I have in there today. In my Instant Pot today, I threw in a lot of bones that I've saved over the last probably, oh, three or four weeks. And so when I'm done with a meal and I have all the bones, you know, all the chicken to boned or the, uh, we have leftover, you know, beef bones or whatever it is. Um, this happens to be a rabbit um, that we um, processed on our farm. Um, this was the first one that we actually home raised, and it's it was delicious. It's probably um, Veda, our two year old's favorite food. And so um, any of the any of the carcass that we didn't use for our rabbit stew, um, I just threw in a gallon size zipper bag, and then I just throw the bones in as I have them throughout the week. So what we did here is I, I saved my bone broth uh, bones that I intend to use for bone broth um, for you know three or four weeks ahead of time. And I just save them in a gallon size bag, throw them in the freezer. So if we eat um, barbecue um, beef ribs or we eat a whole chicken or we have rabbit like we had this week. Um, so rabbit, this is the first rabbit that we were able to um, raise on 20 acre farms as well as process. And let me tell you, if you love chicken, rabbit is probably honestly my favorite white meat. They have a majority, I think it's actually a majority of white meat. I don't think there's hardly any dark meat, which I typically am a white meat lover, but, um, or sorry, a dark meat lover. Um, and I actually love rabbit and it is Veda's favorite food. And she just licks her fingers until it's all gone. Um, so anyway, back to the bones. I save my bones for three or four weeks. Throw them all in just the Ziploc bag. So it could be it could be beef, chicken, rabbit, um, whatever meat you happen to use. Throw them in that Ziploc bag, and then you can just keep adding things throughout the weeks. Um, then when I'm ready to throw out my bone broth, I add in onions. I add in garlic, um, lots of spices. I love turmeric. It's great anti-inflammatory. It is um, really delicious, and it adds lots of good flavor. Um, I throw in chopped ginger, I throw in rosemary, thyme, basil, salt, pepper, uh, what else did I throw in this one? Um, if you have carrots or if you have celery, onion, uh, garlic, any of that, any of those uh, nice herbs and vegetables, they just are going to uh, really give you an earthy tone um, flavor for your bone broth. Um, so like I said, my recipes vary from bone broth to bone broth that I make just depending on what kind of meat I've used um, or what kind of spices I happen to just throw in. Um, so this is um, going to go in my Instant Pot and I just throw this whole thing in after I add water up to the max line, which is about, um, I would say, um, 12, 12 to 14 cups of water in there. And we're gonna throw this whole thing in here. I'm gonna put the lid on after I, of course, have water in there. Um, and you're going to set this steam release to the close so that way it's going to build up um, the pressure of the of the steam. And this is just a digital pressure cooker. It is, you know, most of our grandparents probably used uh, pressure cookers that were not safe. They have a lot of risk with boiling water or explosion. 
and um, this thing is just genius. I have made so many things in this Instant Pot and love it. I'm gonna push manual on here and it is set to 240 because that's probably the last setting that I had it on. And I've heard um, people that do bone broth that use the Instant Pot have done it in four hours and I've heard a lot of people that love it in 90 minutes. So I tried both. And actually, I still had really gelatinous uh, bone broth after nine minute, 90 minutes. So I decided less is more. So I'm going to just set it on 90 minutes. You let it go, and it'll automatically build pressure. And then when it's done, maybe we can pop in later and share with you um, what it looks like and what I do with it after that. So hope this gives you an idea of how you can make bone broth that's really healing. You can use it to soak your grains if you're going to soak quinoa or rice or if you're going to boil your rice. Add it to any steamed vegetables. You can add it to any of your soups or stews. Um, you can just drink a cup of it. It's, it's so delicious and it's really nourishing from the, for the body and the teeth and just giving you vitamins and minerals that you so need in your diet. And the more Oh, sorry, minor detail. You do need to add apple cider vinegar to this. Um, apple cider vinegar gives the ability for um, the collagen and all of the nutrients to be pulled out of the bones. So you, I just usually maybe add a couple tablespoons of apple cider vinegar per batch. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that. Um, and that just helps you get that gelatinous um, texture. It's gonna really gel up nice. And that means that you're gonna pull more gelatin um, out of the bones, like the collagen and all the, um, the, the, the great minerals that are in the bones. Um, if you're going to use like beef bones, the knuckle bones tend to be more um, full of collagen and all that, which we all love to have glowing skin. And I honestly think this is really key to helping um, keep our skin nice and young, youthful looking. So that is Bone Broth today by 20 Acre Farms.